forget, we'll be having a meeting probably next week. All right. We had an incident in our cafeteria today, and it involved some mashed potatoes ending up on the wall. I'm calling a senior named Chase. Chase, come on in. There are several sources that say that he engaged in throwing the mashed potatoes on the wall. Chase, I'm checking up on something that happened today, and I thought maybe you might be able to be helpful. Uh, has something to do with some problem that was in the cafeteria? At the cafeteria? Yeah, today. Well, you see, actually, I, uh, I left earlier from the cafeteria with my friend. I couldn't get lunch today because uh, the lines were too long, so I actually ate at the vending machine, so I didn't see any of that happen. I heard there was some sort of incident. And what happened? Have you any idea? No. I don't. Chase is a rather intelligent individual. I know that even though I'm holding the conversation with him, I know his mind is moving quickly. And I want you to think, because I know you can think several moves ahead. Picture where this is headed if not only is there an offense in the cafeteria, but then there's a lie on top of it all. Why would your story be different than several others that I've spoken with? I wanted to give Chase an opportunity to get some credit for stepping forward and admitting his involvement in this incident. All right. I may have thrown some mashed potatoes at the wall. Did you just all of a sudden think, mm, maybe I'll flip some mashed potatoes? Things have just started to get to me lately. I was sitting in lunch, and I was just staring at these mashed potatoes, and I, and I realized something, Mr. Russo. I realized these mashed potatoes, they symbolized what I think Charter has been doing to people, which has been creating an amorphous blob of a, a homogeneous mixture that's completely ruled out individuality. It feels like there's, there's, there's an effort to stifle what makes me me. And what is it that makes you, you? Who you are consists of what's in here. Whoever you are will remain that way. Nobody can change it. Mr. Russo doesn't bull with you. And that's the conversation people should be having with their faculty and their principals. Tell you what, Chase, tomorrow, when lunch ends, mm -hmm. who do you think I'd like to have help me clean? Me. I would love to have you with me. So I'm not going to get a detention or any demerits? You're going to spend time with me. Oh. That's punishment enough. All right. If I had simply given him two detentions, I don't think there would have been any change. Right. See you tomorrow at lunch, Chase. All right, see you, Mr. Russell. I'm going to have the opportunity to interact with Chase. I think that is going to be far more effective than if he just sits down someplace for an hour. <laughs>